As we look at this very familiar passage, just to set us in the proper context, this is in the middle of the gospel that we heard last Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, where uh, Jesus talked about almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. And he, the uh, lectionary kind of skipped over when we got to the prayer part, skipped over the Our Father, uh, so it could keep those three together. Um, and so you, you remember he's saying, when you pray, go to your room, shut the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And then it goes, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they need to be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. And as I was praying through this, um, what struck me in this uh, high point, this culmination of the, uh, the uh, 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 Sermon on the Mount, is that here Jesus is saying both relationship is central to our walk as Christians. Relation, vertical relationship and horizontal relationship. In fact, in the prayer, the very first two words point to both of those relationships. Our Father. Vertical relationship. Our relationship with Almighty God is not that of uh, the pagan uh, gods where you try to babble on and try to get their attention and do what you need in order to get what you want. But it's the relationship of the father with the son, with the daughter. God calling us to this relationship. Now, last night as we were, uh, after watching The Chosen, we were talking about all this and relationship and all this stuff and one of the things that came up was you know mother doesn't always just do nice things right she she does what is loving for the child and um, we recognize that we're not trying to convince our father to do what is good for us but rather to call on him as trusting and loving children knowing that he will give us what is good. And sometimes he doesn't give us what we want, but he does give us what is good. But so that's the vertical relationship, but our father is our father. Jesus doesn't teach us to pray my father. He teaches us that we come to him as church. Now there has to be an individual decision. We, we can't rely on other people's decisions in order to get there, but we never come alone. It's always in community, always as the body of Christ, our Father. And the first half of the prayer is then dedicated towards that vertical relationship. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Giving praise to Almighty God saying, your will be done here. May we do your goodness here on earth. But then we go into kind of the horizontal, recognizing more specifically our relationship as church to Almighty God. Give us this day our daily bread. Not just give me. Not just about what I need. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And here's the hardest part of the prayer. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Judge us as we judge others. Treat us as we treat others. This is so important. Because too often we think we can get away with holding resentments in our hearts. Jesus says to St. Faustina that as we pour out mercy on others, then that mercy will be given to us. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Begging Almighty God as community for the things we need. And even to emphasize this, we see at the very beginning, before he gets into teaching us how to pray, he's saying, okay, this is how your relationship is to be with the Father. Don't babble on like the pagans who think they will be heard. 
Don't be like them. Your father knows what you need what, before you ask. That relationship, the vertical. And then afterwards, he f- focuses again on the horizontal. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly father will forgive you. If you do not forgive men, neither will your father forgive you your transgressions. This coming together to Almighty God, whose Father loves us so intimately, but never alone, always in community, communion with those around us. So let us ask Almighty God to help us to break free from whatever may be causing us first to have a wrong image of Almighty God because it's so easy to fall into our Father who art in heaven, our Father who art in heaven, our Father who art in heaven, instead of saying Father, Abba, Daddy. But also, not just to break free from those inappropriate uh, images of Almighty God, but also to break free from that which, as, as the French say, the crud the, the crud on our hearts that we have with those around us. Asking God to heal us of, of the woundedness, of the brokenness that we have with others, the unforgiveness, the bitterness, the resentments, in order that we may reach out in love, together joining as community, as communion in Christ, reaching out to our Father who loves us so intimately, so tenderly, so infinitely.